Here you go, Jen. Mind the plate, it's hot. OK, Dad. Jenny? Yes, Dad? The plate's hot. Yes, I know. Well, it's currently singeing its way through the tea towel. <laughs> oh, Jenny, move your mess, please. Oh, sorry, Dad. Oh, 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 what were you doing, anyway? Just doing something to welcome home, Pastor. Oh, that's nice. Uh, are you excited at seeing your big brother again? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, he's coming home from America tomorrow. Yeah. After he's been away for three months. Well, aren't you excited? No. Why not? Because it's not tomorrow yet. I'll be excited tomorrow. <laughs> Debbie, breakfast. Morning, Mr. Kelly. You're not Debbie. <laughs> no, but I know breakfast when I see it. Um, who's that for? Debbie, have oh. an apple, Nudge. Oh, a man should really have a hot breakfast, Mr. Kelly. Fine. Stick it under your armpit for a five minutes. <laughs> oh. Debbie, your breakfast's going cold. Oh, I'll eat it, Mr. Kelly. No, you won't. Oh. Can't blame me for trying. Anyway, Nudge, I suppose you're excited at seeing Simon again? Yeah, I am, Mr Kelly. What time's the flight again? Look, right, it's at 7.30. Now, we'll be leaving here at 6.30, so don't be late. Debbie, breakfast! I heard you, Dad. Oh, don't do that. Well, what's the big rush, anyway? Your breakfast has gone cold. Well, then there's no need to hurry, is there? Well, I can fix that. Get out of it. <laughs> Debbie, sit down and have your breakfast. Anyway, I like it cold, Dad. Uh, why do I why do I bother cooking? I should just hurl the raw bacon and eggs onto the plate. <laughs> Dad, that's gross. What's he doing here? It's breakfast time. <laughs> Debbie, it wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Well, I was lured away. Excuse me. What's going on here then? Nudge took Gina to Pauline's party, then he went off and left her on her own for hours. Oh, Nudge, I'm ashamed of you. I told you, Mr Kelly, it wasn't my fault, I was lured away. Uh, by another woman, I suppose. Well, sort of. Pauline's mother, actually. <laughs> Pauline's mother lured you away from your girlfriend? She made supper, Dad. Uh, I see. Yeah, and then Nudge just left poor Gina on her own while he helped himself. Well, I brought her a plate. Oh, that's right. An empty plate. Oh, well, it wasn't empty when I started out. <laughs> Just couldn't help myself on the way. Well, Gina was really upset. I mean, I'm surprised at you, Nudge. I didn't think you could be that cruel. Debbie, it was a mistake. Tell him I'm not speaking to him. She's not speaking to you. Well, tell her that... No. Why not? Because I'm not speaking to you, why? <laughs> that's the trouble with women, Nudge. They stick together. Oh, could one of you girls get that, please? It's, it's your turn. turn. I did it last time. Why did the dishes last night? Oh, well, look, cut it out. One of you, I don't care which one, go and answer the door. OK, Debbie, think of a number between one and ten. Seven. Wrong. You <laughs> no, look, Deborah, just go and answer the door right now. I'll get you for this. I didn't fall for that, you know, Jenny. Oh, hi, Simon, come in. It's all right, Dad, it's only Simon. Probably Simon. Yeah. Oh, Simon, we weren't expecting you until tomorrow. Oh, I couldn't wait. It came a day early. It's great to see you, mate. This is for you, Simon. Well, wow. what's well mean? Tough welcome. Here's the other half. Oh, Jenny, who told you to spell welcome with two L's? Maybe did. Well, I'm an artist. I don't have to spell. <laughs> Dad, it doesn't matter how you spell it. It feels terrific. <laughs> Well, Simon, it's a great T-shirt. What do you guys think? <laughs> well, I like mine, Mr Kelly. Tell me, did you get a job lot on these? <laughs> Thinking this way, you wouldn't fight over them. Ah, good thinking. After all, it's the thought that counts. What thought? He only thought once. Oh, Deb, uh, that's enough. Yeah, I suppose so. Let's just promise each other that we never go out together. I promise. <laughs> Simon! Oh, it's so good to see you! Oh. Your father rang and said you came home early, so I rushed right out. Oh. How are you, Betty? Oh, I'm fine. Gee, I missed you. Gee, you've grown. Have I? No. <laughs> Hang on, Betty, I've got something for you. Oh, whatever could it be? Is it? Oh, it's, it's just my size. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. OK. Oh. Just joking, Betty. Uh, oh, you shouldn't have, bud. Uh, uh, uh. Now I've got something for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, oh OK. Just joking again? That was all. Yeah. Hold this. Betty, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Hang on, hold your horses. Here you go. Now blow it out. Now everyone say, welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs> 
Well... Uh, I knew she'd say that. Yeah. Well, see, I was going to make a cake with a candle on it for Simon's welcome, but seeing as he came home a day early, well, I didn't have a chance to make the cake, so I, I did the candle instead. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'll make the cake tomorrow. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Sorry, we'll have to leave you to it. Betty and I have got work to do and, uh, well, I suppose you better unpack. OK, Dad. Thanks again, oh, Betty. Great to see you again. OK, woman. Tea break's over. Everyone back on their heads. <laughs> I never understand that. Debbie, I told you not to touch my tapes, didn't I? Simon, what's the big deal? I didn't hurt your precious tapes. Well, half of them are missing. You've lost them. I haven't lost them. I know exactly where they are. Yeah? Where? Yeah. You keep out of this. I'm not talking to you. Why? What's he done to you? Not me, Gina. Gina? Yeah. Yeah. Has she got my tapes? Gina? Yeah. No. Well, why are we talking about her and who's she? She's got nothing to do with you. This is between Nudge and me. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> oh, hang on. Can we have one fight at a time? Yeah, one fight at a time. Well, which one are we going to have? <laughs> You've lost my tapes. I haven't lost them. And anyway, it's your fault. Oh, she drives me mad when she behaves like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you've lost my tapes, how can it be my fault? Explain that to me. Simon, I haven't lost them. I know where they are. Uh, are we still talking about the tapes? Yeah. Oh, good. I'd like to know where I stand. Well, where are they? The tapes? Yeah. Yeah. The tips. You lent my tapes to someone else? Simon, it's your fault. You're so unreliable. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sorry you on? Oh, I'm not sure. I think I lost a crack somewhere there. Simon, you're just unreliable. If you'd come home tomorrow like you were supposed to, you would never have known about all of this. So it's your fault. Simple. <laughs> she drives me mad. Yeah. Nudge. Yeah? Please don't say yeah again. OK. Come on. Help me unpack. Jeez, mate. You met a lot of birds over there, didn't you? Yeah, they're wrapped in Australia over there. I told them all the usual rubbish. What do you mean? Oh, you know, like how we keep crocodiles in the bath and ride kangaroos to school. <laughs> what? And they believe it? Yeah, of course they did. <laughs> oh, this one's gorgeous. Yeah. I wonder who she is. You mean you don't remember a gorgeous bird like this? Hey, there were so many of them. Oh, who's the guy? Uh, oh, that's Jerry. Who's he? He's my best mate over there. Your best mate? Yeah, wait till you meet him. What, you mean he's coming out over here? Well, he might. He's going to try and come next year if he can. That'd be terrific, wouldn't it? We had a great time there. Yeah. He was your best mate. Yeah. Oh, well. I better be gone then. Hang on. Where are you going off to? Give us a minute and I'll come with you. Oh, uh, no, look, I've got a few things to do. I'll catch up with you later. OK. See you later then. Yeah. Here's another one you haven't seen. This one's divorced Barbie. <laughs> They're selling divorced Barbies? No, I just got an ordinary one and divorced it myself. <laughs> well, what's she do? She takes half of everything Ken owns. Ah, they're getting more lifelike every day. You get that, kid. OK. It's really nice to have you home again, Simon. Yeah? Yeah, cos now I don't have to take out the garbage. <laughs> Haven't you grown? Hasn't he grown? No. <laughs> Maybe I've shrunk. <laughs> oh, Mum, good to see you. Mm, I have to come and say hello to Simon. Hang on, Grandma, I've got something for you. <laughs> what could be? It's a, it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, Jenny, go and play. OK. Hope you like your T-shirt, Grandma. Oh. <laughs> now. Oh, Mum, I hate it when you do that. Do what? Rub your hands together and say now. It means you're planning something talking about. You're planning something. I know you. I can tell. You mean the party? I mean the party. What party? <laughs> well, I'm planning a surprise party for Simon's welcome home. Oh, Mum, if you start organising parties, you know what'll happen. What could possibly happen? You'll upset me. You'll upset Betty. You'll disrupt the entire household. You'll cause chaos and utter confusion. How would I do a thing like that? Mum, you always do. Darling, that's what mothers are for. 
We've got trouble. Trouble? What trouble? I think Grandma's organising a party. Who for? For you, of course. Oh, no! Not a grandma party. <laughs> Bitch, we want to ask Ern and Doris, because Doris is her best friend. Even worse. How can you be worse than Ern and Doris? She's trying to find Bongo. Bongo? Who's Bongo? Don't you remember your 13th birthday party? Oh, that Bongo. The clown Bongo. None other. But he must be 108 by now. Don't dig him up. She may have to. <laughs> Surely by now Bongo has left us for that great children's party in the sky. And I heard her ordering three dozen funny hats. We'll have to stop her. What will we do? We could pay someone to kill her. No, we tried that before. It didn't work. I'll have to speak to her. She won't listen. Why not? She never does. Well, I'm not having Ern and Doris and Bongo the Clown. I'll have to tell her. Good luck. Oh, by the way, where's Nudge? I don't know. He went all funny and left. Why do you care? I thought you weren't talking to him. Oh, that's all over now. I'm mad at Gina, so I decided to forgive him. Good. Who's Gina? <laughs> Just grabbing something to eat before I go out. Oh. What's up? I just going to ask if you could help me do Barbie's hair. Oh, sorry, kiddo. Maybe tomorrow. OK. Isn't that divorced, Barbie? Yeah. Why does she need her hair done? Because she's going out. You mean divorced Barbie has a date? The ink's barely dry on the settlement. Well, she hasn't exactly got a date. She's going to a single spa. <laughs> but I have high hopes for her. Well, I hope this time she finds someone she really likes. No, she made that mistake last time. This time she wants somebody who's really rich. No, sure this isn't a Joan Collins doll? <laughs> well, maybe tomorrow. Gotta get out before Grandma... Ro before Grandma ropes me into helping with the party. Yeah, it's gonna be good, isn't it? But the clown, you're gonna be kidding. Don't I like clowns. Yes, but Simon doesn't. Clowns are good at parties. Yes, but you're nine years old. Simon's 18. Yeah, but everyone knows girls mature sooner than boys. <laughs> Daddy, didn't you hear me calling? Yes, but she was too slow at getting away. <laughs> now, look, I'm going to need some help with this party. Look, Grandma, I'd love to help, but I'm just on my way out. Out? Out where? Well, I'm going to Tiff's, and then we're going to meet the boys at the movies later. Well, then you'd better get dressed. I am dressed. Oh, I've sent salads back with more dressing than that. <laughs> well, that's what everyone wears these days. Well... I may be an old-fashioned stick in the mud. True. <laughs> that was a rhetorical statement, Deborah. It required no comment. Sorry, Grandma. When I was a girl, we dressed properly. Well, how did you ever meet boys that way? <laughs> and that's another thing. What's all this about meeting the boys? In my day, the boy drove up to the house and he came in and had a word with your parents for five or ten minutes. And you know why? Yes, Grandma. Because the horse needed a rest. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for that one, didn't I? A bit. You have to be up early to catch your sister, don't you? No, she always sleeps in late. It was a figure of speech. Well, if I don't organise this party, I don't suppose anybody else will. Peggy. <laughs> Peggy, could you come here? I need you. Oh, honey, I'm really busy, Mrs. Kelly, I'm doing some Yes, well, well, this is very important. Now, now, Peggy. It's Betty. Uh, what is? I am. Are you? <laughs> Why do I always call you Peggy? I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, Peggy. Betty. Oh, well, whatever. I, I want you to uh, take out oh, this for the guests for the party. Oh. Now, <clears throat> there'll be uh, Ern and Doris, because Doris is my best friend. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to find Bongo. Oh, why does she play them? Who? Uh, Doris. No. Oh, oh then, then Ern plays them. Plays what? The bongos. No, it's not bongos, it's bongo. It's only one. Oh, usually there's two of them. <laughs> two what? Two bongos, you know, and, and, and you hear them, you know, like, da yo, da yo. No, no, it's not. Bongo drums, it's Bongo. Bongo's a clown. Oh, well, you shouldn't hit a clown. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm not going to hit him. I'm going to hire him. Well, what for? The party. <gasps> oh, you're not ever going to hire a clown for Simon's party. Well, of course I am. I always hire Bongo for Simon's parties. He loves 
doesn't. Of course he does. He gets paid. <laughs> Just take this down. There'll be um, Ern and Doris Malloy, and there'll be uh, Bongo the Clown. You'll have to find him. And I want you to write to oh, the Reverend yeah, Jackson. Yeah. Because... Hold your horses. I can't get all this down. Of course you can. No, no, see, I can't do that Arab uh, shorthand stuff. Dear, dear, what sort of a secretary are you? Well, 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 it seems to me that you can't do anything properly. Mum, just stop that immediately. Stop what? Well, I won't have you talking to Betty like that. Oh, it's all right, Mr Kelly. No, it's not. You cannot talk to Betty like that. Well, you always do. <laughs> I'm allowed. Mum, Betty's my secretary and I will not have you upsetting her. I mean, what sort of a secretary is she? She can't file, she can't type, she can't do Arab writing. Arab writing? <laughs> Shorthand, she's useless. Mum, stop it. All right, I'll admit some of Betty's ways are a little eccentric. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, her, her filing is a disaster. And she may type like a left-handed camel. <laughs> but she's the most warm-hearted, generous person I've ever met. There's not a malicious bone in her body. But? No, I'll put up with disastrous typing and that terrible filing because I get something far more valuable from her. It's loyalty. <laughs> loyalty. Absolute loyalty. And loyalty's a two-way street. And I will not stand by and let you insult Betty. Oh, Mr Kelly. No, Betty, I mean it. Well, if you feel like that... I do. Can I have another race? No. <laughs> Betty. Betty. Have I upset you, dear? Well, a little bit. Well, well the time, I suppose, has no, come. a lot. Well, Betty, look, I... In fact, a real lot. Don't press your luck. I'm trying to apologise here and it doesn't come easily. <sighs> sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Betty. I don't know, I, I seem to offend people. I'm, I'm like a, a bull in a china shop sometimes. Always. <laughs> Thank you, dear. But if I have offended you, I'm truly sorry. Then I truly forgive you. Oh. <laughs> now, that's settled. Now, about Bongo. Grandma! Oh, Simon, just the man I want to see. Grandma, I don't want a party. I don't want Ern and Doris. And most of all, I don't want Bongo the Clown. <gasps> okay? <laughs> well, I don't seem to be winning too many today, do I? Simon, did I just hear you being rude to your grandmother? Well, a bit. Fair enough. <laughs> Did you want me for something? Yeah, sort of, Dad. Well, let's hear it. I hate this design anyway. Well, have you noticed anything wrong with Nudge? Have I noticed anything wrong with Nudge? Uh, how long do you want to spend on this? <laughs> no, I don't mean the normal things. I mean something new. Well, what do you mean? Well, he's acting funny. What sort of funny? Well, we were talking, and then he went quiet and then left. Well, what were you talking about? America. Oh, there's your problem. But Daddy asked me. Yeah, well, that's another problem you're going to have to face. See, everyone's going to ask you about America. You're going to start to tell them, and they won't want to listen. Well, why do they ask? They think you expect them to, but they don't expect you to tell them. <laughs> but Nudge isn't like that. OK, well, what were you talking about specifically? Uh, oh, yeah, I was telling him about Jerry and what a great guy it was. And... Ah. What do you mean, ah? Uh... Well, see, for three months, Nudge has been missing you. Worse still, he's been worried that you might change, that you might grow away from him somehow. It's crazy. Well, nevertheless, you come home and start talking about this great mate in America. So, Nudge thinks he's lost you as a friend. But that just couldn't happen. Nudge and I have been mates since we were two years old. He'll always be my best mate. I can't imagine things without Nudge around. Well, that's great. I mean, you know it. Now I know it. How about Nudge? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, come on, Mum, Betty. Keep your shirt on, Martin. I was just getting Betty's scone recipe. Well, I haven't got all night. Now, I really am forgiven, Peggy. Of course you are, Mrs Kershaw. <laughs> my name's Kelly, dear. <laughs> Not while well, my name's Peggy, dear. <laughs> I've done it again, haven't I? I must stop getting people's names wrong. Hi, oh, Simon's grandma. Hello, sludge. <laughs> Sure. Nudge. I'd better go before I get into any more trouble. <laughs> oh, come on, Martin. We haven't got all night. Hi, Nudge. 
Oh, hi, Deb. Um, Simon and Rowney rang up and asked me to come over. Oh, yes, he's just gone down the shops. So he'll be back in a minute. Oh, oh Deb? Yep? Yeah? How come you're talking to me again? Oh, well, I've decided I'm mad at Gina and um, I can only keep one mad going at a time. Oh, why? Well, what's she do? Oh, she bought this great shirt that I was going to buy, so I'm not speaking to her. Oh, <laughs> well, you better not speak to me either. Why not? Well, because I've just made up with her and if you're not talking to her and I am, you're not really talking to me, are you? <laughs> I am. Nudge, what goes on between you and Gina is none of my business. Oh, well, that's not what you said before. Well, that was different. Then I was speaking to Gina. Understand? Oh, really? But if you're speaking to her... Yeah. Tell her she's a rat. <laughs> oh, there you are. Look what I got. Oh. Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah, stick it on, we'll watch it. Oh, but we've seen it. Yeah, I know. 17 times. No. <laughs> Why do you want to watch it again for? Because I told myself that the day I got back, I was going to watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with me best mate. Yeah? Yeah, bang it in. <laughs> so, what was America really like? Not as good as this. <laughs>